Yeah. What about your South African memories, memories of playing in and then travelling to South Africa? Well, I mean, for us, it's, 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 careful, it's, one, it's one of the best trips because of the Rand. <laughs> you know, we're getting beer at what cost us a quid. Yeah. Yeah. No, eh? So for the England fans, we always take thousands over because they see it as uh, <laughs> such a cheap trip. And The one thing I'll say about South Africa, the cricket is always competitive. You always know that you go there, it's going to be tough. Uh, we managed to sneak over the line there in 2004. Um, went there in 99, my first trip, we got absolutely hammered. Uh, and the one thing is that, you know, that every test match, even if you go up in a series, the next test match, they're going to come hard. You know, the crowd and everything surrounding all the venues, you know you're in for a tough battle. Uh, as much as it's cheap beer and it's uh, cheap food, it's the cricket that I really enjoyed in South Africa. I always felt that the, the competitive nature of a, a Graham Smith's set, uh, side that he led so, so strongly with the likes of Callis, Boucher, Pollock, um, Hansi back in the day, you always knew that you were up against a real competitive unit. I, I like competitive sport. I like going out there and playing against teams that give it plenty, have a good crack at you, and then afterwards you have a beer and shake hands and go, you know, we're all friends. You look at, you know, the friendships that I've got now with Warney. Uh, you look at Jack Callis, who's playing here this week, uh, Mark Boucher, Graham Smith. When we played against each other, we were at each other. And now we've all become really good friends. And I think that's what sport's all about. And I don't